Um, folks. Um, been back. Took a break. Yeah. Uh, a lot of fucking shit happened. happened. Fucking Trump had his his town, town hall. Oh, yes. CNN gave him a free hour of publicity because they're morally bankrupt. Mm-hmm. And they're actually bankrupt. I was about to say, no, they're going actually bankrupt <laughs> too. Like, yeah. um, but yo, we were there were all right. I didn't wa- I watched highlights of it, and I could say one of the things I turned like that turned me off was like, I mean, the whole thing was just a fact free. You know how Trump is it's just that like, hillbilly. But near, it feels so good. It feels so good. It feels so, so good. The hillbilly Nuremberg rally. You want to vote? It for felt Trump. like a Trump rally because low key they were all his supporters on CNN. He wouldn't have done it any other way, you know. But the thing, yeah, the the shit about the rape uh, uh, charge. Whoa, that was you know it's like people were like applauding like sexual assault. I loved it. They were like, whoa, ha ha ha, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> Basically, they didn't say that, but... It's like they outlawed comedy everywhere, but you have to allow it when it's a presidential candidate. Yeah, hold on. I'm going to go to the... um, um, I'm going to skip past Chink's analysis. Yeah, we saw... Okay, this is when... Because, all right, we got to get to the Ukraine shit, too, because that was amazing. I literally told a joke about it tonight. Um, But, um... Spectrum. These are the people that that that, that, that give you the shittiest fucking service. By the way, just saying. Yeah, yeah, we got Spectrum. Yeah, we got Spectrum, and that's why this shit's always people. Cut off. Spectrum's run by people on the Spectrum because that yeah. shit don't work. Oh God. I mean, I like Chank. You know, he does. Come like- on, there's no biological difference. No, Chank is not one of those dims. Oh. Uh, he's not. He's uh, actually really reasonable. I'm Hillary. This is Hillary. All right, all right. It's a political commentary I like. Yeah. Yeah. All right, but this is just horrible. Right? It's deplorable. It's entertaining, though. It's entertaining, though, Very but it's horrible. Yeah. Let's hear the guy out. Let's defend. Let's hear him defend we, his And you know what we always say? When you're on stage... Almost anything is off limits besides Michael Richards. You know what I mean? Like, that's basically the rule. Like, Michael Richards is a level that's too far. Yeah. Donald Trump ain't not even close to that, bro. He's swinging. Never met this woman. Oh, hold on. Let's turn up the volume. But I never saw this woman. This woman said I met her at the front door of Bergdorf Goodwin, which I rarely go into other than for a couple of charities. I met her in the front door. She was about... Oh, yeah, by the way, Caitlin Collins, like, literally no pushback to whole fucking thing, bro. Whore. We're going to get to that later. Other than for a couple of charities, I met her in the front door. She was about 60 years old, and this is like 22, 23 years ago. I met her in the front door of Bergdorf Goodman. I was immediately attracted to her, and she was immediately attracted to me. And we had this great chemistry. We're walking into a crowded department, so... We had this great chemistry, and a few minutes later, we end up in a, a room, a dressing room, a book of Goodman, right near the cash register. And then she found out there were locks on the door. She, she said, I found one that was open. She found one. She learned this at trial. She found one that was open. What kind of a woman meets somebody and brings them up, and within minutes, you're playing hanky-panky in a dressing room, okay? <laughs> I don't know if he was, he was married then or not. John Johnson, I feel sorry for you, John Johnson. Mr. President, can I... That is her husband, and he's like, I feel sorry for you to her husband. John Johnson, I feel sorry for you, okay? <laughs> I just know it. <laughs> her husband. I mean, he does feel sorry for you. He had that fucking sloppy seconds after him. Poverino. If it's even true, do you think it's true? I don't think it's true. I don't See, know. And See. I said it earlier because what? She's sixty now, forty when Trump that met her. Trump's that's kid. not Trump's mo, bro. Trump is all about that. Her. Is dried out for Trump. He needs like twenty five Slavic, yeah. bro. Yeah, he's all about the fucking the young, the beautiful, the ones the that come curtain. by mail, you know, yeah. Yeah, from Eastern Europe. Yeah. That's his type. 
Yeah, bro. Some forty year old. Well, no, I think, I, dude. I I do think he is actually. I feel like he's done that before, though. In his, but with this particular woman, I, I don't know. But I feel, I feel like Trump has definitely done that within his life. Sexual assault, totally in Trump's fucking. Come on, bro. Grab, ah! Grab him by the pussy. Grab yeah! him by the pussy. He's too charismatic, that, bro. I feel like that's it. And then don't forget, like, his his wife, his first wife in court documents, the one he buried in Bedminster in the golf course, his first wife said in court filings that, like, he did a uh, rape her and then, like, damn, that's, you know. And, like, but he did a... Uh, t- to, like, not have that, like, he offered her more bread. Instead of, like, eight and went to 25 mil. Uh, it was the 50s. I mean, it was, was it rape? 50s. Guys, come on! Oh, God. Oh, man. We all watch Mad Men, all right? They put their hand over the door. <laughs> the implication is clear. You ain't leaving, girl. <laughs> <laughs> No, okay. no, but but okay, Trump probably canceled. Trump probably did. Um, yeah, probably. Yeah, Trump de- absolutely. I don't put it past his. Yeah. It was the fifties, guys. Come on, it's, he wants to make. And it's Donald Trump. He wants to make America America again. Horse face, Stormy Daniels. Horse face, Stormy Daniels. <laughs> And white girl lips, Katie Couric over here. Kate. <laughs> I'm sorry, sweetheart. What's your name? I forgot. Yeah, I love the fir- the word in this post. We freezed in here in this post. And let me tell you, folks, I'm an ostrich. It's like a. <laughs> imagine those. Imagine a chick. It's like, like an those, American. Those rapper. hands gripping up some hey. bitch's ass, yo. God damn. Because you asked the question. This isn't You're saying is that if I was walking in at the park, because I was very famous then, and I owned the place. I mean, Rudy Giuliani is his lawyer. We've seen how he gets laid. <laughs> how does Rudy G- get the Borat movie? <laughs> oh, oh, wow. God, wow. it looked terrible. Yeah. Oh, oh Spock on day. Yo, I can't believe I totally forgot about that, bro. Rudy yeah. Giuliani is a. Terrible. Bro, I can't believe I forgot about that, bro. I trust you of a crowd at the department store. Then I say, if she was being raped, and by the way, they said she wasn't raped. Okay, that was her charge. She wasn't, they found they did, they found, her. No, no, what? Say what? They, they, did, they said he didn't rape her. And didn't I didn't do anything her. else either. You God, know? it's like he's getting into like the semantics. It's like, bro. You did something creepy to this fucking woman. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. No, he, he probably did. He did something creepy, bro. But the thing he is, was straight what, to the it, what happened? Like, what did she say that they went to a fucking changing booth? Yeah, in the middle of a department store. And he dragged you there? So we gotta Google it. Cause who's telling a grown woman to go to a changing yeah, yeah, booth? Grab, grab, the, grab your phone. Who's telling a grown woman to go to a changing booth and, and buying it when you're famous and people probably go to the store for you? Yo, Google, what the fuck was going? Oh, on? Was, he, she, was she like his assistant? Yo, hold on. Let me see what E. Jean. What's her? What's her name? I don't know. E. Jean. Let me see what she said. This is crazy. Hold on, folks. Um. And a bird off Goodman in the 90s. Okay, this was just a, the president's reaction to cause emotional pain, suffering at the hands of the man who, re- whoa, as well as injury to her uh, reputation, honor, and in- 
What were the details, though? I did hear her once, though, on um uh, on CNN, just saying like, "Yo," um, and she was just like, "Oh," and then he, you know, me, or whatever. No, what's this? I have no idea who the hell she is. What is her name? Folks, oh, no folks, but he's funny. Folks, I'm like Joe Biden. I have no idea who she is or where I met her, where I am. Uh, yo, he, yo, imagine if he was just like, unless I'm Joe Biden, I have no idea who she is. Oh, that yeah. would have been a, oh. That's what I just, that's what I just Oh, did. yo. Like Joe yeah. Biden, and I don't know where she is yo, or where it, I am. If he did that, oh, man, he got, he would have had the election with that joke. I know. Spock. Her dog. Or her cat was named Vagina. The judge wouldn't allow to put that. <laughs> her dog was her named cat, vagina. vagina. And let me tell you, folks, that was in light in the evidence. But with her, they can put in anything. All right, guys, I'm telling you, I... that was pretty good. Yeah, to me, yo, you trying to? Yo. I mean, way to defend. That's as close to come. Yeah. You get in the yeah. sexual way to, way to fucking just like defend yourself against a sexual assault allegation with stand up comedy. <laughs> he's like deplorable, but he's like, you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm get, getting a sad guy. He's like, I'm gonna fuck. He's like, I'm getting these people on my side. Watch this. Fuck, I don't even know who she is. Yeah. <laughs> Yo. Um. We got to see, um... Yeah, so you got to defend the charges. I don't even know who she is. Oh, let's see Trump's worst lies. Were they lies, or did he say three lies and then drop a major fact? Because <laughs> that's the thing about Trump. That's, that's the, the thing about Trump. It's like bullshit, 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 bullshit. Cut through the bullshit unlike any other president ever. Ever. Just and says like, a oh. fucking real ass thing. You know what I'm saying? And that's why people fuck with him, bro. Because he'll be like... He says, like, well, you want to hear the truth? We're not the nicest guys in the world either. It was like, okay, where's he going? He'll, you know, he'll Putin it. Just look at what we're doing in the American schools. No, it was crazy, though. They said that he... I saw... Yeah, he couldn't... We're going to go to that clip. Because it's not in this. But he couldn't decide if he wanted Russia or Ukraine to win the war. It's like, gee, I wonder why, you know? At this point, folks, I'm very open to whoever wins the war because Russia, if they win it, it's great. They get the. Like, it's like, what I'd do is I'd get Zelensky, I'd get Putin, I'd meet him at the table, and the war would be over in 24 hours. It's like. Fact. <laughs> Fact, bro. No, he wouldn't! Yes, because without Trump, the aid is done. Hello, me. No more AIDS, so Ukraine and Russia have to go to the bargaining table. The war would be over in 24 no, hours. No, Ukraine would fact. just get pulverized. No, there would be a bargaining table. It would uh, last Boston. a little bit. He, it would actually happen. We're not, for the, not for the right reasons, but it would. We're Trump? Yeah, immediate fucking aid pulling out. They have Yo, to you go Trump 2024, because that shit ain't going down. He's fixing the queefs. And he gets, he gets the vote. It's like, you're so homophobic. That's I'll, I'll, sh I'll go in line for Trump, yeah. <laughs> the votes, and all you have to do is... Now, I have a war against woke, yeah. and it's very well documented. What? I have a war against woke, and it's very well documented. Yes. In the votes, and all you have to do is take a look at government cameras. You'll see them. People... Government, government cameras. cameras. I saw this government camera he's, of Mia Khalifa. Very big tits. He's dabbling into Dinesh D'Souza uh, talking points right now. 2,000 meals. We saw them on camera, folks. 2,000 meals. Look at look at Dinesh D'Souza's movie. Who's that? You know who Dinesh D'Souza? The one Indian dude that got um, arrested for fraud. He, was, he used to fuck Laura Ingram. No. Yeah, and then he made a movie called 2,000 Mules where he claimed on camera he had videos of mules paid by the Democratic Party with 2,000 of them. And what they would do is go into ballot boxes and steal 
open up ballots and steal votes that were meant for Trump. Oh God. Yeah. It's, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's one like of the, the pixie dust fairies. That, that literally was Biden. the inspiration to my fucking hoax that I did. Like when I got the stack of manila folders and I was just I like, have the document. I was like, I have your ballots. I was I one have. of the mules. I was like <laughs> <laughs> That was my inspiration, Dinesh D'Souza's film. Yeah. Fire. And somehow I got taken off uh Twitter for that. But I'm back on Twitter with a new account. Hi, Don. Anyways. People going to 28 different voting booths to vote, to put in seven ballots apiece. I never met this woman. They could kill the baby in the ninth month or after the baby was born. That was what I said there. I was like, yeah, <laughs> they killed the baby in the ninth month. Or they kill the baby afterwards. So they're just doing homicide at this point. Like, <laughs> fuck, fuck it, yo. Play, yo, it's hot. <laughs> it's, like, it's like, oh, it's a girl. <laughs> like, uh, Never heard of those Planned Parenthood 187s, bro? <laughs> it's like, oh, it's a boy. <laughs> right there, yeah. <laughs> just toss them out. There was my jo- what, that was one of my jokes today. I was like, yo, you know what? If they're killing babies after they're born, I'm like, then we then that's homicide, which means we need a good guy with a gun inside every Planned Parenthood to kill all the mothers. We just need to remind them that the placenta looks like Jesus. <laughs> Can you imagine what a scene that would be? Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but like... No, it was, bro. Yeah, and that, but don't forget, like he had a debate against Hillary Clinton, and he was like, "Folks, in the ninth, month, he goes, he goes, in the ninth month, they're ripping the baby out of the womb, ripping the baby out of its mother." I'm like, "Yeah, Hillary was doing it personally." They're like, "You mean delivery in the ninth month?" Of the- <laughs> no, they're aborting it. Whenever Donald Trump Two talks about abortion, delivery. everything is like in the ninth month. In the ninth month. <laughs> in the ninth, it's it's in the ninth month. Even when it's born, they're it's doing straight. <laughs> His scare rhetoric on abortion is it? Yo, when it comes to any politician I've ever heard in my life. I'm sorry, fuck all the Christian pastors, fuck all the even most extreme Christian politics. Donald Trump has got the most outlandish abortion rhetoric of anyone ever. Punto pasta. He's a good salesman. Yeah. I did finish the wall. We don't have ammunition for ourselves. Addiction? Right now. We, don't- we got con- addiction. In what context? Like, yeah. you have an addiction? All right, let's see. Let's see. I did finish the wall. We don't have ammunition for... He's like, I did finish the wall. <laughs> He's talking about the mule, the Clint Eastwood movie. <coughs> He's like, I did finish. finish the wall. I finished the wall. It was a great movie. He goes to jail in the end. Very sad. <laughs> yeah, like him. <laughs> Ninth month or after the baby was born. I did finish the wall. We don't have ammunition for ourselves right now. We don't have ammunition for ourselves. We're going to win so much. If I'm president, I will have that war settled in one day, 24 hours. <laughs> Yo, we got to go to the clip where he says why, though. Get boxes sent to Chinatown. Chinatown, where they don't speak even English in that Chinatown we're talking about. See that? See, that's not outlandish. There's Chinese people in Chinatown to speak no English. Yeah. Yeah. But hold on. Trump Town Hall, Ukraine. They don't even speak English in Chinatown. Yo, this, this whole thing was... Uh, I've got to get about the table, folks. If you or a loved one is struggling with oh. eating or receiving gums, gingivitis, gum infections... Toothaches or... I want to get to another voter. Caitlin Boissonneau is a student here at St. Anselm College. She's a Republican. This will be the first election that she has voted A Republican in college. That's a rough one. All right. What's your question for the president, Caitlin? 
Hello, President Trump. Hi. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you. Um, but she's a classic history? Republican. I mean, she's still fucking football players to piss off her dad. So, you know. Yeah. How you doing? And they're black. Asian has made it clear that we should continue to provide military equipment to Ukraine so that they can defend themselves. Do you support this decision? And how would you deal with the increasing threat posed by Vladimir Putin? First of all, thank you. It's very not very a good. threat. He's first a friend. Of all, first of all, folks. It's really nice. And it's an important question. So important. Because we're giving away so much equipment. We don't have ammunition for ourselves right now. We don't have ammunition <laughs> That's for ourselves. Made we're giving away so much. But here's the thing. I have to say it to start off. No longer matters. If I were president, this would have never happened. Manchester, New Hampshire, he's in. Hmm. You know what we know from there? Oh, God! Used to be in this room! Oh, haunted it. Haunted it. His pill head antics. God, we'll talk about the kid. opioid epidemic in Manchester. We lived it. Yeah, we yeah. lived it. We had to deal with it. If I were... Oh, God, this is just very mentally ill. Yeah, mentally ill people in If the I were chat. a galactic overlord. Mentally ill people in the chat. Let's continue. ...happened. And even the Democrats have said that. Putin knew it would have never happened. He's a gone so German. would have never happened. A lot of things would have never happened. But this would never happen. And all those today. dead people, both Russian and Ukrainian, it would, they wouldn't be dead today. And all those cities <laughs> that are blown up and disintegrated right to the ground, that wouldn't have happened. Okay. Now, here's the problem. We've given so far $171 billion. They've given, meaning they, meaning European Union, which is approximately the same size altogether as our economy, they've given about 20. So we're at 170, let's say, and they're at 20. Uh, you don't have to know too much about history to realize, or geography, to realize that they're a little bit more affected than we are, okay? So they've got to- You gotta kind of like explain that. Oh yeah, yeah, just make me boss for a day. I promise I won't burn it all. Who the? Oh. What the? What them Wakanda? The, burn it all, bro. You need to burn up a joint, bro. Because they're taking advantage of us like every other country did. That's why I ended NAFTA and replaced it with the USMCA in Mexico. But on this issue, Mr. President, I, I should know. I don't know any Democrats who have said they don't believe Putin would have been invaded if you were president. But her question is: Would you continue to give Ukraine money and weapons if you're elected? Um, What's the answer? I have a very good relationship with. Uh, President Zelensky, because as you know, he backed me up with the with the phony uh, impeachment impeachment hoax number one, when he said the president didn't do anything wrong. So I he literally said the opposite. <laughs> That's why Trump got impeached a second time. Oh yeah, the Ukraine. Yeah. yeah, he was like, yeah, Russia we gate, were. Then Ukraine he's like, gate. we were extorted. That's why Trump got impeached a second time. And he did say, he did say, he was like, um, we're gonna withdraw aid from Crimea, for Crimea if you uh, if you don't uh, find dirt on Hunter Biden. Yeah. So you tell me if he won. Vladimir Putin wouldn't have fucking invaded him. Yo, Vladimir Putin would have taken fucking Ukraine like that, bro. Yeah, he wanted it, bro. Hey, Trump would have helped him. Like, fucks, we're looking for Russians in the Sudetenland. <laughs> <laughs> we need to fulfill their destiny for leaving space. And yeah. I happen to like, so I happen to like, yeah, that's right. And it, it was, I was totally exonerated, by the way, just a waste of time and money. <laughs> <laughs> He wasn't exonerated. He wasn't. He was impeached. Yeah. But the question here is, would you give the weapons and funding if you were... I would sit down. Let, let me just put it best way. Uh, if I'm president, I will have that war settled in one day, 24 hours. How would you settle that war? True. If I meet with Putin, I meet with Zelensky... They both have weaknesses and they both have strengths. He would just withdraw it, bro. It would happen. Would it would happen. Listen to his what he's saying. Listen, listen. They both have weaknesses and they both. If I meet with Putin, I meet with Zelensky. They both have weaknesses and they both have strengths. And within 24 hours, that war will be settled. It'll be over. It'll be absolutely over. Do you over. want Ukraine to win this war? 
uh, I don't think in terms of winning and losing. I think in terms of getting it settled so we stop killing all these people and breaking out. Now, what do you, can I just follow up on that? The bell of bell. Can you say if you want Ukraine or Russia to win this war? I, I think you need to go to Russia for some lip injections. Let me tell this you, is folks. Best, this is the best answer I ever. Listen to this. Listen to this. Want everybody just Can you say if you want Ukraine or Russia to win this war? I want everybody to stop dying. <laughs> dying. Russians. <laughs> What great truths are we missing? Um, yeah, that people are dying there, for one. Yeah. yeah, and he would settle the fucking war. The whole problem that the no, fucking... he wouldn't. He would, bro. By, for the wrong reasons, obviously, by fucking handing it over to, to the Russia. Russians. To Russia, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, he would Yeah, yeah they war. would, yeah. He would! It'd be over. But then what does Russia do next? 50k people die every day on Earth. Oh, God, this yeah, guy okay, is just depressed. Yeah, yeah. Don't even ignore this particular chatter. Ugh. Presidency to do it. But you won't say that you want Ukraine to win. You, you know what I'll you say? I'll say this. this. I want Europe to put up more money. Because they're in for $20 billion, we're in for $170. And That's they should, be, and they should equalize. More. They have plenty of money. They should equalize. I got with NATO. I, I got with NATO. I hooked up, okay? It was at the Bergdorf uh, changing rooms. I met up with NATO. But I want Europe I want Europe to put up more money because they're laughing at us. They think we're a bunch of jerks. We're spending 170 billion dollars for faraway land and they're right next door to that land and they're in for 20. I don't think so. When it comes to what's happening there, when you were in office, you said that you respected President Putin. Do yeah, you still respect him today? Uh, he made a tremendous mistake. Made that he made. He was a smart guy, you know. I remember I said he was smart. She was smart. They what said was his he mistake? said President Xi of China, right? Is smart. Okay, 1.5 billion people. He's the ruler of 1.5 billion people. I said he's a smart guy. How <laughs> it's just your... What do you think about Putin? Let me tell you about President Xi. Yeah. <laughs> Dare he say he's not pussy smart? They want you to say he's a stupid person. Okay, he's not a stupid person. <laughs> Jane Collins smart, is trying bad. not to laugh. And Putin made a bad mistake, in my opinion. What was his it mistake? Was, his mistake was going in. He would have never gone in if I was president. We used to talk about <laughs> it. You would have handed the country. We would have gone in. What do you mean? He's responsible for the deaths of thousands well, of people. Well, I think this, I think it's something that country. should not be discussed now. It should be discussed later because right now we have to get a war. If you say he's a war criminal, it's going to be a lot tougher to make a deal to get this thing stopped. Because if he's going to be a war criminal. Oh, oh no, but he is. It's a fact what he's saying. See? That's a fact, too. If you call him a war criminal, how the is. fuck can you bring him to the negotiating table? But he is. Well, you can't. Ha oh, you got to guarantee. Can't negotiate with a war criminal. Well, you have to guarantee that he's won't ha that you won't have his arrest. That you want, um, what do you, that in Brussels that they try and, that shit? Yeah. The human rights court. You gotta find a place that like. Interpol gets your ass. Yeah, yeah you gotta find a place where like they wouldn't arrest him. You might have to meet in Moscow. <whistles> Who knows? Well, Trump, you know, loves Moscow. That's where he Remember gets his Remember when Trump showers. first met uh, Kim Jong-un, they met in like Singapore or some shit like that. Singapore? Oh, because King Jong is a butt pirate. What? And that's a port. He's only around water. Oh, God. <laughs> the people are going to go and grab him and execute him. He's going to fight a lot harder than he's fighting, you know, under the other circumstances. Uh, that's something to be discussed at a later date. Isn't right it now, we want to get that is? war settled. And I'm not talking about the money either. I'm talking about all the lives that are being... The number of people being killed in that war is far greater than you're here. When they blow up a city and those buildings come pouring down and then they say two people... He's just such a good description. He just gives such good descriptions of destruction. <laughs> burning down, falling buildings, burning falling people. Falling buildings. Excellent. They're all flaming. Like San Francisco. But yeah. 
Um, but anyways, um, we got time for that last react we're gonna do of Doctor Phil, the gender queer. Yeah. Oh god. All right, all right. We were gonna get to this because we. Like, this vi particular video has been going viral, though. This particular episode. So. But we want to get to it. That's our, that's our shit on Trump, but yeah. Yo, remember the short trains that we saw on the bus? On the train? You were like, you didn't even know it was trains because they're short. I'm like, no. No, I don't know. Um, yeah, you pr of course you remember. You're probably jerking off to it. Gay the gods. Oh my god, Dr. Philly. Alright, uh, here we go. Well, recently we had a very passionate conversation about gender discussions in schools. How young is too young for children to start learning about gender pronouns and should parents have a say? Here's what happened. Controversy tonight over a new policy on how gender identity is addressed in Utah schools. A family's fighting for transgender rights at a Tucson middle school. You may as well just put a big neon sign that says trans kid bathroom. The West Point School Board voted to terminate French teacher Peter Flaming because he didn't refer to a transgender student with male pronouns. Oh my god! god. What did they do? God, that was a kid to murder. And to refer to a transgender student with male pronouns. Oh, God. The chick. <laughs> what they do to him, though? They fired him, fool. 4% oh, of 13 to 17 year olds who identify as transgender are dictating the agenda. Step in. For the remaining 98.6%, oh, are schools overstepping and trying to take the place of parents? Not only was I betrayed by the school and by the therapist, but I have watched thousands of other families be betrayed in the same way. Jennifer says they went nearly three months calling her daughter by a different name and gender identity without her ever being notified. Her teacher sent me an email and it used a name I didn't Yeah, That's they insane. keep doing this That's shit. That's insane. That's insane. Oh god. If you're gonna be if you're gonna call your son Let's a girl Listen, identities on kids and not tell their parents because it's our secret. What's also the secret? Are you fucking raping the kids too? What are you keeping secrets yo, from the you fucking went zero to Catholic right away, yo. But it's like why are they supposed you're not supposed to keep secrets if you know what I mean? Yeah. Not with the fucking parents. The fuck else it's you know what I mean? Yeah, dude, yeah. It's fucked up, dude. Didn't recognize. I felt blindsided. How many of you agree that it's okay? I want zero to Vatican, baby. Hide yeah, down. Hide down. Parents. I'm protecting the kids. How many kids. of you think parents need to be involved? Eli, you disagree. Why? I was one of those students. I was one of those students. Why do you think it's okay to exclude the parents? Because sometimes parents don't agree with their secrets being kept from parents, and the. Best evidence of a child's what did I say? parents' involvement. I'm a psychiatrist. I treat a lot of trans students. If the child could have gone to the parents, they would have. What if the kid is actually in some sort of danger if they come out? That's a big thing. If you have a child that has suicidal ideation, do you not have an obligation okay. to include the parent? Are you comparing being yeah. suicidal? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You gotta the include the parent. No, bro. Heralding teachers, and I am not aware of any teaching curriculums in preparing these teachers to be uniquely qualified to handle this sort of challenge. You're absolutely right. Most teachers right now are not trained. The parents <laughs> aren't trained either. That's the issue. Of course not. Right. But that is the issue. I think about my own children. If a teacher had locked me out of a life-altering decision, I'd have been a mad some bitch. I'm telling you. I am a teacher. The Gender confusion is a serious mental and emotional disturbance. It requires family involvement. All you have to do is go to YouTube and type in transition regret, and you will have thousands of young women who have moved their breasts and now regret it. I'm going to stop you from embarrassing yourself right there. Pure misinformation. Oh, really? Because really? I've seen them. Really? I've fucking seen them. 
God, so. Two percent of people have received transition care we and are regretting it. I mean, I've never seen him personally. No, no we've seen the videos of the videos of him. Yeah, there's people a lot of transitioning and being like, "Wow, I wasn't ready." And there's some people that even take that decision as an adult and still regret it. And they're yeah. like, "Wow, I was too young." So, like, God, God, so. Not trying to solve the problem. Well, joining us again is Ashra Namani mother and parent advocate at Independent Women's Network. Also joining us is oh, Eli Earl, co-founder of TSER, yeah. Trans Student Educational Resources, an organization run by and for transgender youth, and psychiatrist and physician, Dr. Yalda Safa. No. So thank you for joining me again today. Not bad, though. I appreciate it. Yeah. Now, when we were together before, uh, I asked the audience how they felt about wanting to know if a life-altering decision was being talked about at school. And most of the audience said, well, yeah, I, I, I would want to know. And this is a, a big issue. Parents and kids talking about intimate things, personal things, is not always easy. Agreed? Right, 100%. I, I always tell parents, talk to your kids about things that don't matter, so it's easier to talk about things that do matter when they come up. But particularly if this comes up when the child is young, it may just be that they feel conspicuous, and perception is reality, and, and you say... If they could have gone to their parents, they would have. But that's not really necessarily the truth. It, it might just be the child's perception. Correct. 100%. It might be easier to talk to a stranger about it. Yes. But that doesn't mean they can't go to their parents. They think they can't go. They might not be reality. And, and the, the position of the teacher here is to ultimately get the student to... Safai, where's she from? <clears throat> She's Arabi. She's just revolting against your fucking household. Yalda? Yeah, that's Arabic. Yeah. She's she's revolting against her 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 her, uh, her Wahhabi upbringing. Her Wahhabi upbringing, yeah. Yeah. To tell their parents, that's the common goal. It should be the common goal. However, the student might not understand how to communicate this stuff to their parents out of fear of not being accepted, out of fear of sometimes even safety. So the goal yes, should be to ultimately let. Mm -hmm guide the kid to be comfortable enough to tell their parents. But as a teacher, should it be the responsibility of the teacher to run to the parents as soon as a, a student discloses this to them? I don't think so. Well, I think it should be. I couldn't put the students in danger. And I, I do also want to add something. I was one of those students who was outed when I was eight years old, and it did not end well. I, my third grade teacher outed me to my parents over the phone. I was punished. I was sent to therapy to get me to stop um, announcing that I was a girl. And it didn't work? Yeah, like, oh, you just look like a fucking Norwegian soccer player. Yeah. Oh. I was teased and bullied at school. You look like Homo Holland. to other students <laughs> and teachers. And I was grounded by my parents. So, no, they don't always... Um, they don't always react well. But you, you are so making my case. That teacher was so ill-equipped to be the one handling that situation. You just argued my case per perfectly. But the parents perfectly. weren't. The parents weren't equipped either. But there That's are the mechanisms issue. in place for this. It's yeah. called Health and Human Services, mm -hmm. Department of Child and Family Services. There, there are all kinds of mechanisms built in to intercede in this. Teachers may not be equipped for this. And my question is, it, it just seems so arrogant to assume that you know better or the teacher knows better than the parent. The teacher Oh, have God. Teach Phil is ill-equipped to provide therapy for the world. That's a heavy uh, virtue that's signal. That's a heavy virtue signal. Oh, God. Children, there's a comment, is it the same mental guy? Weeks, uh -huh. And they know better than to consult with the parent? That's because this isn't about the child themselves. This is about their beliefs on trans issues. 
How yeah. is that not about the child? Parents that have negative beliefs yeah. in trans issues tend to not accept their children. How do you know whether they do or they don't? You can't. You can't know, exactly. But and that's why you shouldn't out them to the parents. <laughs> but how are you going to find out if, if you don't talk to them about it? And encourage the kid to talk to them themselves. Okay, millions on the back of Band-Aid self-help. So you want to give it over to the medical establishment, which has already proven that I it over-fucking-prescribes. engage with this No, shatter. dude. No, because this guy and people like him have appropriated our fucking party. Everything that's fucking happening on the left, and they made it into this. Phil says just regular people shit, bro. If you got a problem with it, it's because you're not fucking... You're fucking weirdo at this point. But that's not what happened. He's a doctor, bro. Records, he's not. Conspiring he with is. the child. So he's not. Oh, he's not. It. He's, he's not. It's not a real, it's not a real so medical field. Psychiatry, fuck. It's an accurate word for what's happening. I mean, if you're changing the record, and then they, they send an email home... With a name on it, which means they're not very good conspirators. They sent the email home with the new name on it. The parent thought, uh, Jeff thought, uh, they said this is the wrong parent. Yeah. <laughs> I was confused. I mean, it, it seems rather chaotic to me. And it is a conspiracy. Schools are very chaotic, and I think we can all agree there's a lot of educational reform that needs to happen. You know, I was bringing up a really good question, as is the doctor. You don't know what's on the other end of of the line when you're dealing with the parent are they an unknown quantity and how do we close that gap how do we find out where they stand on these issues maybe that's something that needs to be included uh in the screening at the beginning of the year uh to the extent that it can be should transgender or gender questioning students be forced to use faculty bathrooms at school which outs them uh, or should they be able to use whichever bathroom they're most comfortable with? And how does that affect all of the other students? We'll talk about Ow. that more when we come back. Yeah, we know how it affects. Uh, it makes it you know, walk into the girls' room and fucking see a dick. That's Yo, what I gotta go take a bath. Me, the barely paid person for the new mint family plan, my mom. You look thin, sweetheart. Are you eating? I don't, folks. Just right before class, and hey, Phil does have good advice, buddy. See, that's where he fucked it up. He does have good advice. Cause nobody at this point talking about fucking anything in this country is so toxic that immediately you're branded as oh, psycho, conservative, this, this, and that. And all he's doing is having a fucking open discussion. See, that's what happened on the left. Nobody actually wants to have an open forum anymore. You just have your little bullet points. If you deviate from that script, even an inch, that's it. No, bro. I know people just like you. I live in Brooklyn, New York. It's full of little fucking people like you. No, you are a weirdo. First of all, Kissing Gonzo? It's a weird name, dude. It's a weird name, bro. What are you, homo for fucking... What's the guy? Yeah, Hunter S. Thompson. You're homo for Hunter S. Thompson, bro. It's fucking weird. Gonzo porn. Evening. Good evening. Now, I don't know what Gonzo porn is, bro. But see what I'm saying? Like, you seem like a very, like, you know, introspective, you know, kind of thoughtful theater queef. You came up here with the kissing Gonzo, and you're calling Dr. Phil a weirdo. Yeah, he's a weirdo, but he's not Dr. Oz, all right? He's not trying to give you a fucking yeah, pill head Dr. solution. Dr. Phil gives people regular, people regular advice. advice. Reg yeah, he's the most regular No, advice. I'm not craving drama. See, you're making it dramatic. I'm just trying to talk to you. But literally, this entire generation can't handle confrontation, can't handle a dissenting opinion. 
He's saying I'm craving drama. I'm not looking for drama. Phil is entertainment, yeah. Yeah, he gets it. And he's normal, bro. And he's, he's normal, normal bro. He's having an open forum. What are this fuck? Of the say? lowest kind. Yes. And then something about Gonzo porn. Yeah, I don't know what Gonzo porn is. Of the lowest time, Mexican garbage. American garbage. You, Dionysi, you Mexican. And I was just trying to go to the bathroom, and all these boys were trying to get in the stall. They were shouting slurs at me. Because you're weird. That's called bullying. We went to school, we dealt with it. He was fat, I was Since short. Parents, yeah, I'm a wall climber. Orale, chingon! Uh, implemented in school regarding gender identity and transgender inclusivity. But what about the students who are directly impacted by these changes? Joining me on Skype are Toby and his mother, Sherry. Now, Toby says he feels isolated and outed by being forced to use the faculty bathroom. No way. Phil is Mexican? Is that true? No. Phil is Mexican? Phil McGraw? For real? No, he's like, no, JK. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck you. The C prohibits him from using the school bathroom of the gender he identifies with. He says last year he had a bathroom emergency and was harassed by multiple boys. Do you know how many times I was harassed? Toby Sherry, thanks for joining us. Well, you're welcome. Thank you for having us. That's bullying, bro. It's part of life. I love how they're like, oh, guys, body positivity. But when I grew up and I took my shirt off in front of gym class, kids would fucking poke my man tits, call me Milky Way. Then body positivity. Uh, no, I wasn't there. But now we got body positivity. Man, go fuck yourself. I used to be one of those kids. <laughs> And, uh, and it's cool because those same kids <laughs> had their own BS, which I roasted to death as well. <laughs> Mingle. You get oh, you get a little lively there. He's like telling you, you're getting mad about body positivity. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's upset that he's Milky Way. I'm compensating, dude, clearly. Overcompensation is the name of the game, dog. Yeah. So it was. Yeah, roasted because I was short, bro. Was exactly. It wasn't a big and, um, deal. No, it's life. It's it, life, and, um, dude. It didn't Yo. And all these God. You're just getting it roasted because you want to cut. Your and no, and you want to be a, you want to be a protected class, which you already are, and that's fine because the most protected. The most protected. And it's like, what do you want? You want to wear a fucking. Like a bulletproof vest made for your fucking gender? I don't get it. They were shouting slurs at me, and they just they kept trying to get in, and it went on for so long. It felt oh, like... you transgender? Yeah, transgender. Yeah, yeah. Well, he's got tits. That's for sure. No, right. he's not. Yeah. He's not he's talking about because he said this, you idiot. Transgenderism is simply mockery of the feminine and masculine. Not exactly, but in a way, yes. yes Women have is. said that it's like it's like you're doing woman face. It's like that bit I think that Chappelle did. You're just okay. Then you don't know. You're just barking, man. Go back to watching Sex in the City and leave us alone. Barking facts. And Thank you. Dionysus yeah. gets it. it Dionysus, cool. Gonzo, fuck yourself. They blamed it on me for being in the bathroom. And technically. They were right because technically you weren't supposed to be in that bathroom, which created a problem. Yeah, I would for you say so. These bullies were doing what they did. We were told by the assistant principal that if we pursued pressing charges of assault against these other students, that it would actually be Toby that would be facing potential expulsion from school. Okay, and what happened to the 10 boys, Toby? I have no clue. I didn't know who was in the... Yeah, they had to leave because now their lives are ruined because of you. 
Yeah, because yeah, yeah, everybody thinks so they're a fucking so bigot. Yeah, because of y'all. Well, like, they did just beat up someone. Oh, wait, did they? Yeah, I didn't know. Kind of fucked up. She got beat up? Yeah. But Dano did that all the time. I mean, no, not true. Yes, dude, of course. But you're fucking manipulating the argument, dude. Bigotry is weak. Bigotry is weakness. It's like these people aren't fucking, especially in New York. Jesus Christ, bro. Yeah. Mingle Hyman. Now, the reality is, bro, that this is a men's movement, all right? And a lot of other people were pushed to the side to make way for this fucking new radical transgender and LGBT stuff. Yeah. Women were pushed to the side. Black yeah. people were pushed to the side. side. Yeah. So women, women in particular because now like women's sports is not even going to be a thing. Yeah, it's not even going to be a thing. And then it's also like it used to be, we used to be a more meritocratic society, but now it's like, you look at the Academy Awards, for example, it's like, oh, it's gay, transgender, oh, it's the blind, the deaf Academy Award. Yeah. Yeah, you're being vague as fuck, dude. Was Stop. This is a no virtue signal zone because we're actually virtuous. So fucking stop with that BS. To, for yeah. new activities, um... And then excusing these other students' behavior by Bye. telling me, Bye. Well, I know, you know, boys will be boys. It made me feel as though... Yeah, but that's not a well, boy. Well, technically, but that's here... not a boy. Here's the thing, though. Here's the fucking thing. If you want to transition and be a boy and three dudes beat you up... Sorry, that's being a boy. A, yeah, literally. Sorry, folks. Be, be getting you want to be up. treated like a boy, you got to take a fucking beating peel sometimes. Up, peel up, peel up, peel up, Mingle Hyman. Yeah, just like Mingle Hyman. But I'm telling you. Yo, you got to take a fucking yeah, beating. beat up is just part of growing up as a boy. Sorry. Yeah, it happens. I got my ass kicked I got my all ass the time. kicked all the time. You should have stayed a girl if you didn't want to do to put hands yeah. on you. Sorry. There's no protection, like, there's no recourse, there's no place that we can go to make sure that my son is protected and not bullied in the schools because he's trans. He doesn't deserve that. Let's look at this through the assistant principal's eyes for just a minute, just for argument's sake. Yeah. So, from her standpoint... Gonzo, we both know the only time you get your ass kicked is in the boyfriend with... In the in the room with no, your boyfriend, Juan Cito. Gonzo, for real. Alright, his Dominican love bites probably cure your fucking Asperger's. I don't know. The greatest mania of all time. Yeah, if we make it through it. Yeah, dude, we're, we, we might not make it through it. it. They literally took everything from us, bro. I don't yeah, know what else they can fucking take. We're comedians. We lost that to it. We lo I lost comedy. I lost films. I lost everything I loved, bro. I'm living on fucking fumes, dude. And if the, it, just assuming that fact pattern. No. That was okay? Me. That was okay. That was just boys being boys. And that was the phrase that she used on the phone with me. Well, the hell is that okay? It is not okay at it, it, all. So tell me, uh, what's your experience been since then? You're a degree seeking scholar. This isn't just a job. It's transferable. No, no. This dude again, but he keeps dropping yes. fake He's facts. right again. A dummy mag. Yes, but you are a virtue signaling unbearable bitch. No, but it's Basta, also... let it roll. You're no, giving this guy too much space, bro. We can't dude, even get to a minute at this He's the greatest He is. Really nervous. But you're letting him take up airspace. And I heard people talking about what happened in the hallways. And it was just really concerning to hear so many people talking about it in such a bad light. Because they were all under the assumption that it was a girl in the men's restroom and she was up to something. But it wasn't a girl in the restroom, it was me. Well, we reached out to uh, Toby's school for a comment uh, regarding this incident. And uh, this is the response that we got. Tennessee law states that all public education students must use the bathroom for their gender assigned at birth. School districts have no authority to violate this law. In this case of a transgender student 
attending one of our high schools, the school made accommodations for the student to use a private single occupant bathroom because the student stated he identifies as a boy instead of a girl. However, in August 2021, the student chose to use a boy's bathroom instead of the private bathroom and other students in the bathroom reported it. When an employee found the student in the bathroom, the student said he had been harassed by other students while in the bathroom. The school administration and school resource officer used hallway camera footage to identify witnesses and did a thorough investigation after interviewing several students. So yeah, you're wrong. Sorry. The other students who witnessed the student being harassed. The student continues to attend the same school and there have not been any additional incidences reported. We greatly value the safety of all students. While we can't violate state law concerning student use of bathrooms, we will always investigate any reports of harassment or violence and discipline anyone responsible of inappropriate conduct towards other students. I, I grew up in athletics and Wait, the, fire the locker room is a different... We have a fire department on Saturday afternoon? What's going on, bro? Not us. Are we good? Sorry, folks. We're in New York. We're all crammed next to each other. We see the fire department. Yeah, yeah. somebody. Well, think somebody yeah, might have croaked. Ambulance. Yeah. Anyways, we'll somebody might have croaked, bro. Croaked, but the show is gonna continue living. I don't. Keep show must go on. Uh, Cause you got community showers and stuff like that. But going to bathrooms, I. I There's stalls. I, yeah, I I never um. I I don't think I ever um had an encounter. Um, yeah, that was the yeah, thing when old. you were a kid. You're not, yeah, and, and guess what? I didn't I'm either. not old, I didn't and either. I didn't either. I didn't either. I didn't either. On display in a bathroom. Exactly. Oh, 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 God. Oh, God. God. <laughs> the blue haired mafia is going to be represented. $5 million that could be directed elsewhere. Uh, we're going to hear from her next and continue this conversation and hear more from the audience. We'll be right back. Oh, oh God. God. Yo, why are you giving what? this guy What's his deal, dude? He's just an it's entertaining. angry, lonely queef. It's an angry, lonely queef. Okay. Yes, yeah, dude, you have no idea. We live in New York. Bro, bro. let it go through, bro. Look how no. long this shit is. I like the the Dionysus cat. Yeah, well, no, Jeff, but let it roll. Fuck. This was a well-intended bill. Hey, we found it. Yo, we found it. Look at the time. Our schools for free. That bill became uh, unreasonable and irresponsible when the verbiage changed that it had to be in female, gender neutral, and specifically boys' bathrooms in all K through 12 schools. Gender neutral! $1 million dollars is being redirected from the state school fund to provide these products in these bathrooms. <laughs> I will not confuse my son and tell him that boys menstruate when he does not have the uterus and he will never ovulate. Well, the new statewide Oregon bill has parents like Sherry asking why tampons in boys' bathrooms are a necessary expense. Now, she's joining us here today, and... What state is this taking place in? What state are they putting tampons in boys' bathrooms? Oregon. Oregon? Portland, bro. Oh, God. God, you know what they do there. You know what they fucking do there. Folks, folks. Folks, we just gotta leave Oregon. Queeflandia. Yeah, Qu- Oregon's gotta go. Ugh. We're talking five point five million dollars to put these in all the bathrooms yes. across the state. Yes, K through twelve, and that five point five. K. Million. They don't even menstruate at K. Not even women. They're Fa- little Fa- girls. Okay. Oh God. All right, let's read this out loud. No, actually, no, I don't even give it airspace. It's a carve out, so it comes out before they distribute the money to the schools after that. 
And so considering we're not Trump supporters, you know, we both Bernie supporters, right? And, and we always vote Democrat regardless. Um, just education in general. Where, where bro, I'm just, all, I'm just not going to be woke, bro. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. I'm not going to agree to your fucking new narrative of the world. It doesn't yeah. make sense. Sorry. You may have to ask for them. They're in the office and stuff like that, but they've always been available. So do, you, do you know what percentage of the budget this is for Oregon's educational budget? Well, all I know, I don't know the percentage, but I do know that it equates to 30 teachers a year. Um, this is less than one-tenth of one percent of the total budget. Okay, but well, why you want to... But it's a million dollars, bitch! No, it's not the... Fuck the budget. Fuck the budget, bro. We are spending money to disconnect people from reality, bro. And not only that, we it's, are a, putting, that not it's only, a million dollars, but, too. It's but, not chump change. Yo, they just said, they just said, fuck, fuck up putting uh, tampons in boys' bathrooms already. Stupid, because it makes no sense. That's not biology. They're supposed to teach biology in school. But, bro, you're talking about K through 12. No one's menstruating in kindergarten. Yeah. So isn't that like a middle school thing? So when like chicks start high school, yeah. No, like no, like middle school. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, come on. Does it make it just it doesn't line up with biology? Be teachers. They could do thirty teachers. I mean, which, I which is true. So I think increase the education. I think that math though avoid the central issue. Right. right. Yeah. And the other side of that, if you want to talk about the funding, I would ask why. No, again, false equivalency. I don't give this guy air. God, dude. Subjective personal freedoms, freedom of speech, comedy, that, those are subjective? Yeah. Versus Fuck coming out, out of here. the education budget, which is meant to educate our children. But is it commonsensical to put these products in every yes. bathroom? I, I want to give two, a two-part response here. First of all, I mean, like we saw in Tennessee, trans boys do need to use restrooms. Trans boys can menstruate, and that's okay. And second, if... People are oh, trans boys. Products, which, trans um, boys, okay. Which that provided them. It happens all the time. Um, a boy can just run into the bathroom and grab it for his friend. So this is actually a law that benefits. You know, Tiny's goes, rookie, when I said the K through 12, he's like, rookie mistake. People I can identify with a different age. <laughs> <laughs> Joe gender is fluid. Oh, oh God. God! Yo, you know what? You know it's fluid. Not your mental fluids. They're yeah. not moving around in there. Clearly Ooh. not. Smooth-brained fucking. But. It's everyone, including cisgender women. But it's also a law that can be abused because we've already in the female bathrooms where it does make sense for nudity. They're putting them. All over the walls, boys, you know, I don't have any firsthand experience. There's already been stories from parents that have come to me talking about boys wearing them on their ears. And, and so should you also have toilet paper from bathrooms? No. They're wearing tampons on their ears? They have a higher propensity of being It's a joke. Over it just mind. doesn't make sense. Yeah. So to add to your point, this is really important for lower social economic um, schools. Transgender boys who might not have their own money to go buy tampons. If they're provided free in the bathroom, it's, it's a huge plus. Men do not menstruate. Only women menstruate. Um, okay, 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 okay. But hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. If you're turn, if you're a chick turning into a dude, you they they still menstruate. They they do. Man, get the hell out if of my dude. Get the turning into the a heck? chick. Then no, bro. We gotta get the science right, bro. Yeah, it ain't no science in anything you said, Gonzo. Get the fuck off my I'm chat sorry. and my partner they out here. Don't menstruate, but trans men do menstruate. No, so they just don't. Non-binary people. <clears throat> menstruating is not exclusive yes, to cis women. No, it's not. Yes, it is. So explain you're, to me as to why my body menstruated. You are, if your chromosomes are XX and you're young, you menstruate. There you go. If you're XY, you don't. Correct, but what about trans men and non-binary men? Not the whole group of they're, people. They're women dressed as men. You are not a man. Oh, so he's, he's arguing that they good. need to go in the women's bathroom. Yes, I agree. That's, that's okay. That's perfectly fine. Live your life. <laughs> Tell me what a man is. Well, what's a man to you? You define a man for me. You have chromosomes that have X and Y. That's what a man is. So why are we just looking at the... the the, the science yeah, we get it. You have a mustache, all right, but you're still born a chick. Who has a mustache? 
Shim. 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 <laughs> See how complicated it gets? I was starting to say she, and then I said him. Shim, baby, shim! I don't see no mustache. Oh, come on, bro. She looks like a 14-year-old oh, Mexican God. skateboarder. Oh, God. God, so that's one C, though, bro. Because tonight will be the night that I make tortillas. They're completely different things. They're not completely different. They are completely different. Completely different words. Sex is what you're born with. The sexual oh, reproductive organs you have. Gender is what you identify with. They're that's what they always say. Oh, yeah. Dude, they always uh, know this. It's like, but you're actually attracted, and it's your problem that you don't accept. It's yeah, like, it's like a, no, that's not a... No, it's good, right? Because some fellow will get away. But they, they always... No, it's, it's like not debate, that. It's like whenever I debate any of these pe trans... You're act dude, whatever, you're actually being so mean, bro. Yeah. You're telling them that it's biological. Well, you're no, you just agree with me because you want to fuck trans, bitch. It's like, but get the fuck, fuck out of here. Out of here. Yeah. You're a fugazi-ass yeah, argument. what type of fucking logic is that? You're actually being mean to trans people. Telling them that they can you have like, kids when they weren't born with a fucking look, uterus. Look, 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 he's going into detail. You like the mannish feel with softness. What? No. I don't. For that, I just date an Arab chick. She don't shave. Yeah, but but yeah, he seems to know. <laughs> he seems to know a lot about it in with vivid description. Yeah. <laughs> Could be our first trans yeah, fan. Tra hey, we, 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 yo, we don't get And we again, don't it's judge not you. hateful. We just, don't judge you. You're just a cunt. Let us have comedy and stop making the whole world a brown and your imaginary penis. Out. And we'll be all right. Advanced expert of the world. You've been hating this entire time, you cunt. Yeah. Argue for it. You're just giving a conclusion. You're... You're just making it up. I understand that your belief system is very firm for you, but... You're racism? Agrees with she that. called him racist? We gotta go back. Is it very firm for you? But... Oh, I understand that your belief system is a very firm for you. Base but system. At the end of the day, not everybody agrees with that also. And it's, it's, a it's an ideology and an indoctrination. And, you know, we've seen some of the images, for example, that you're promoting of the gender unicorn and introducing children to that ideology, asking them... Are you romantically, who are you romantically involved with? Well, and let's talk, let's put that up and talk about yeah. it next. And the question is, is teaching and discussing gender identity in schools indoctrinating and over-sexualizing our youth? Or is it just as important to learn about as sex education? Uh, we'll talk more about that after the break. No, because it's confusing. Sex education is normal. You see it in movies, TVs, all the time. Yeah. Hey, it's time for the living It's not literally time. questioning your very essence. It's like, oh yeah, boys like girls, girls like boys, or they like boys, you know what I mean? Yeah. They, girls can like girls, but not like, oh yeah, I should change my gender change irrevocably. Change gender, yeah. Get the fuck out of here. That's not normal. Alright? That's not normal. Podcast. And by the way, by the way, little fact for you, I think eight or nine times out of ten, a lot of these kids that are having feelings like I'm a different gender, they just end up being normally gay. Yeah. So it's like, why do the fuck, they regret cutting off their penis. It's a fact. Listen, I got a bullet it's a fact, folks. Riddled with bad guys. I'm talking about those that will screw you over, suck you dry, take what is yours, and not give it a second thought. Podcast episode like transgenderism transsexuality binary non-binary what are these books what they are doing is now adulterating the minds of children that they cannot absorb or process it's called grooming because grooming yep. to having Asian no we don't do drugs because there's no fucking cure for life you're a fucking little pillhead probably on therapy and not a pill head. he's on his fucking woke he can't doesn't have a thought for himself yeah it's like enough bro with children oftentimes for various purposes but we do know that these are conversations that are best left at these young ages for parents with their children when you're launching a new product with a tight deadline two weeks grandma's tone suggestions can help motivate your team with a positive approach because you know they got work to do. Looking. Well, Usher, you have issues with Eli's gender unicorn as a teaching tool, right? Yes. 
Tell us what we're looking at here. Well, you were looking at TSER's fantastic little gender unicorn. It teaches students of all ages about gender identity, expression, and attraction. It teaches them that everything is on a spectrum and they should be able to explore and express themselves. And, and you say that this is appropriate uh, beginning in kindergarten. I mean, I, I have worked with parents who brought it into preschool yeah. even. Um, I, I see you nodding your head, but I'm sure you're very excited Dionysus about kind of got a point, bro. And um, I, I do want to point out that there are plenty of trans youth, myself included, who have come out at young ages. If I had this as a tool when I was eight years old, I would have been so much more comfortable with myself. I would have known who I was. And no, I, see, because that's BS. See, Race that, blending, so I can identify as black. Yeah, All right, I got new material, guys. I'm gonna drop those fucking Eddie Murphy bombs on stage. Yeah, but Denise, it's, it's not a. It, it is nature, regardless, because you have to understand, like, um, they're not transcend. Like, mental mental illness is as natural as life itself. Mm. Even animals are born with mental illness, and we need to be honest. Yo, transgenderism is a mental. Sorry, I don't want to use the word illness, but it is called gender dysphoria. You know. The same way people have body dysphoria. You know, people have, like, incredible He thinks she's they... big. Yeah, I think I'm big. You know what I mean? <laughs> but usually it's the opposite, you know what I mean? Someone that's, like, skinny thinking they're fat, you know? It, gender dysphoria is along the lines of different types of, you know, self-degrading um, dysphoria is that they come in all types of shapes and sizes. Gender is one of them, you know? It, it is part of nature, but mm. not at this fucking pace, bro. Not this common, I bro. I think the way Bill put it, it can't be that it's either California's creating them or Ohio shaming. It's what I'm saying, bro. Because it can't not be that at, it is part of nature, but not at this rate, yo. So it wasn't alone. Just to piggyback on that, the signs of gender dysphoria... Don't yeah, but the thing is, even by your own logic, the way it's become... You're saying, if you're going to dismiss the fact that gender is static, have... then you'll also dismiss the subtle differences that make us intelligent. And if taken down the simpler slope, we could argue that we shouldn't allow those with less intelligence to have a voice anywhere, anytime, because it's dangerous to the greater good. But that's yeah, what you've you done speaking, with the algorithm. That's what you've done. Yo, you speaking is bad for the greater good because you're not intelligent. You don't have a thought for yourself. You're literally a victim of the meme. Yeah, Yo, dude. Straight up. And then it's like, yeah. And the meme is all gay and tea, bro. But and then who what? runs who runs the fucking algorithms? But oh, it's we're... running San Francisco. Bunch of fucking blue haireds who do the same shit you fucking complain about. Silencing people with opinions Duh, that they don't agree it. with it because it's dangerous to the greater good Diana and their little Christ fucking fanook society they want to build. solves it. I love that. Yeah. Your right questions create interest and therefore... No, the no, no. we're interested. No, no. But only because, no. only because your delusions are something that we're constantly Who dealing... Who gives you merit? The only reason we're addressing you, uh, Gonzo... Only one, people like you get one, merit. One, because it's, it's, it's entertaining, honestly, the retarded shit you've been putting on the chat yeah. has been keeping us entertained. Two, yes, it, it, we do like to keep this an open forum... But the reason we're really addressing you is because the shit you're saying is the shit that's literally being regurgitated through the media, through everybody that's obviously watching, you know, different forms Hold of the on, media. Hold on, listen to this, what he says. Your emotions are my strings. I'm the puppet master. Okay, you're now you're just Hold getting on. creepy, dude. You're my string holder. Doesn't the puppet master hold the strings? I'm what? confused. I, this, dude, this is just weird now. Yeah. You turned it into... What the fuck does that even mean? I'm the puppet master? That's the gayest thing I've ever heard, dude. Dude, you're just a queen. That is... Honestly, bro. You had me for a second. I thought we were actually having a discussion. Their gender identity is pretty much solidified. 
So you will see the signs of someone who's not happy with the gender they're born with very little. Actually, that's not true. It is not true. You can suppress no. it. Their gender expression no, is, is different. True. Gender all expression the depends on the, the last. All the science for the last 100 years has shown in boys who, who experience gender dysphoria between two and three, 85 percent of them simply grow up to be gay. Oh, I love that you're saying And the study. other like, five exactly up. That's a trick. There you go. I said it. They just turn out being gay, like Dano. <laughs> one or two percent, the transgender dysphoria persists into adulthood. At the age of four, a child is not going to know what emotional attraction means versus physical attraction. No, children, and it is, children do get precious. Not, this is a completely age inappropriate product to be Yes, yes it is. It is. I was into trucks and dinosaurs as a kid. You say that 12 is the age that you should be talking to children about gender. Uh, so the, the gender dysphoria develops very early in life, but between the ages of four and six, children think very concretely about the world around them. They right. see black and white. Oh, girls are supposed to have long hair and boys are supposed to have short hair. And that's solidified in their minds and they can't see any other thing. It really isn't until, and, and their perception of the world is shaped by what they see in their family, what they see on TV. It isn't until six or seven when they start to think more abstractly around about things. Oh, maybe girls can have short hair or boys can have long hair. It isn't until that age that you could start talking to them about it. But it should be pu 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 puberty. Because if they go through puberty, in the wrong gender, it's going to cause a lot of psychological trauma. You just made the point, though, that four is much too young to I, have I these never said have the conversation at four. I said the signs she of gender dysphoria. She is not promoting the conversation at four. Get cable free live TV. Yeah, no just, hidden fees or long term contracts. Uh, up to this point, can we just say the pro trans people are getting dominated? Yeah. Absolutely. Bodied. Bodied in this fucking. <laughs> Your gender concept is a completely unethical practice in our school systems. Tell that to the tens of thousands of schools that are using yeah. it. He's a teacher. He's living it. Yeah, he's like, yeah, of course they won. Yeah. I'm trying to find out where you that, think the conversation science. should be held because we should be you, having you said 12 years old. Yes, pew perverty. And and you I, I'm say saying at every age. You, you say every three, age four years old and you Pre -puberty. say puberty. You're trying to put sexual identities on kids that don't have fucking don't even have sexual anything sexual, sexual about, about them? them. You know what I was into pre puberty? Football trucks. trucks. Collecting fucking World Cup figurines. Figurines, panini, you yeah. know. What the fuck is this shit? Playing with my friends. Watching Cartoon Network. What is this shit, yeah. bro? Develop young, but kids between four and six just Lego. Like, who's in this? Like, I want to get pussy after I'm done playing with these Legos. Yeah, I was like, no. Pussy didn't yeah. become a the thing till like thirteen, bro. Be held in I, three or four. I, I well, I didn't get any till like fifteen. So no, what are you thinking about? Yeah. Girl. Girl. yeah. yeah. No, I didn't get it to wail it. Yeah. <laughs> it's about what could be. It's about possibilities it's of in, gender It's and curriculum in school districts. So are you saying we shouldn't ever present any um, children with books about um, gay men? I'm saying that your gender unicorn concept... It's not a fucking a subscription. Yeah, you're clearly a flamer, dude. ...in our school systems to children. And it should be eliminated. Well, it is right now. Tell that to the tens of thousands of schools that are using yeah. it. Why is it that they're using it? You've got this free PDF that is people are downloading irresponsibly, and it should not be in the school systems. Not what did you want to say back here in the second row? It seems like their issue is that they feel as though teaching kids about like um, you know being trans, or the fact that other people may be trans, or the fact that you you know may discover that you don't feel comfortable with the gender that you were assigned to at birth 
is going to somehow lead them to make the decision that they want to be trans. But this is just education. This is just teaching kids the possibilities and that, and, and the fact that they don't have to fit into one box that was, you know, uh, determined for them at birth. It's 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 just giving them the option and, and helping them understand who they could be. You know. So you're saying you're not you're, you're saying you're not going to talk somebody into being trans. Yeah, exactly. It's like you're just going to educate them that it some people be a are. Thing. I mean, you should know what a gay person is. You know, as soon as as you can understand what it means to be gay, and and the same. Yeah, we have. Did you know that tr that trans people after transitioning, forty percent of them try to commit suicide. Yeah. Twenty percent of them succeed. If twenty percent of the fucking planes in America dropped in the sky, there'd be no more fucking flying. So yeah, we have done our a little fucking investigation on trans. Yeah, we just we just go outside the American university system because they're all bought by these fanoogs. False equivalent? How is that a false equivalent? We're talking about twenty percent. Twenty percent. That's not chump change. That's not chump change, Gonzo. Twenty percent. Oh yeah. He was like, "All right, ten of us are going on this field trip today. Two of you ain't coming back." Yo, <laughs> what you is this, Vietnam? <laughs> what the fuck? Appropriate, and you mentioned it earlier. And what is happening now? Imagine if school was like that, bro. Ten people going on a field yes. trip. Oh, sorry, bro. I just like, don't right. understand why some people think 20 people going on a field trip today, three 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 four of us, sorry, ain't coming back. Straight relationships. Like exactly. that's the main question. We don't talk, we don't talk sexuality with a child. You see, three you're, and you're saying sexuality, but by saying that, you're not counting heterosexuality as a sexuality. We're not asking children if. Four, so yeah, because we don't talk about scoring pussy in elementary school. Yeah. Sorry, that didn't happen either. Even though I had I had one friend, his name was Mirko, and we were like 10. It was like we were still in elementary. I think we were like in fifth grade, and he would just talk about like, he, like obviously he was lying. He was full of shit. He was like, yeah, this bitch sucked my dick. And I was like, yeah. <laughs> Fire. <laughs> oh, I got at the age of 10, bro. <laughs> we are not having those conversations because there is something that... Is <sighs> yeah, but Kierkegaard is like, and he's Danish, have... dude. He's a depressed fucking Christian masturbator. Dude, stop. Yeah, all right. Let's see, like, Get the fucking Kierkegaard. Get the fuck out of here. Let's finish this episode. Trans Tilda Swindon can get Yeah, uh, enough, folks. Let's finish this. Let's get out of here. No, but there is something, don't we agree, on innocence and a child. And when we overexpose children to issues of sexuality, it is inappropriate in society. And so, it's not healthy. Right? And it's that's, not. I mean. that, that's, that's not what we're doing. Yes. I, 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 exactly no, it is. Here we go. If you're three or four and you walk in on your parents, you're scarred for you're life. You're scarred for life. We're not talking to five year olds about sex. We're saying it's Please. okay if you want to dress like a boy, if that's what you prefer. These are educational tools. We're not no, you're teaching encouraging it. But okay. One way or another. Do you think that a child, a four-year-old child, even knows right. what the word attraction means? Studies on LGBTQ and transgender youth show that the group is more at risk of mental health problems than their non-transgender peers. So how do we address this, and what can we do to make those students feel comfortable and safe in school? We'll talk about that when we come back. <laughs> Man, fuck those kids. Embrace <laughs> fast. Nah, my. There's just like, where did all of them come from? Because it's a thing, but all of y'all all of a sudden? Yeah. And to get ahead in society, too, it seems? Back, no. We're talking about a lot of things that have to do with transgender <laughs> and schools when it's okay to talk about it when it's best to talk about it when it shouldn't be talked about if there is a time and one of the things that is troubling is we see a lot more <coughs> suicide <coughs> ideation we see a lot more suicide attempts oh he's talking about it yeah there you go ideation we see a lot more suicide attempts in the transgender community. Oh, God. And this dude's literally just trying to piss me off. Look what he's saying. Merit-based thinking has a big flaw. 
Oh, what God. society you want to live in, bro? Yeah, tell us. Stop, stop. Like Just get out of here. Uh, what you see in the general population among youth. And when you see youth in society looking at suicide as an option, then society's not doing their job. You, you got to stop and say, you know, what are we doing that these folks feel that that's their best option? That means we're not doing what we need to do. And I wonder sometimes... What? Yeah, cutting off their dick is their best option. I would say it was pretty flawed of a society. Okay, you know, you're on SNL, that's for sure. Too much focus <laughs> on... It's a way up, folks! And not enough focus on the 98.6% of teaching them how to treat everybody with dignity and respect and consideration. Obviously, that's not the yes. Is transgender, or they're just different than you in any way. Sorry, just like to address you with a, ca a question, please. Uh, I've noticed twice. Not anymore. This is all man. Gonzo, you wish you had this. You little bi gender. So, if I may finish, please. You've questioned. Oh, sorry, you pointed out that you believe people are rude. Yet when Jordan mentions before how he identifies as a man, I'd like to know how it's not rude from your perspective. That's all you're gonna get for free. My feeling. Not a man. You're interrupting her. You're missing the point. It's cool. No, it's not rude from your perspective. It's not true. Not a man. You're interrupting her. Oh, you're missing the point. That teacher it's going might over be. Your head. No, you're talking about head. people interrupting while you're interrupting her. It's yeah, she started good. with some bullshit, no, Doctor Phil. Is, mm. If it's okay to you for you to call other people rude, I'd like to understand from your perspective why you don't believe it's rude and why you think you have a right. To when someone identifies a certain way, for oh, you to tell God. them that that is not correct, that they are that particular gender. No, because you've crossed the line, you forget the other part. Right, to tell them the truth. But it's not you know, the people, the it is people the truth. Who hate the truth. People who hate the truth are because they see they see the truth as hateful. If you want to identify in any way you can, you're free to do so. But that does not mean that the rest of us have to join that illusion. If a transgender person is not harming you or the people you love, why do you care so much? Because he's a fucking teacher and he has to deal with parents that are fucking shoving his BS in his fucking face all day. Yeah. <laughs> he actually oh, oh, clap, clap, his clap. job is to actually make kids learn. You know, like, think, learn about things that are true, like biology and shit. No. I want you to be quiet. I want you to stop being hateful. He's not being hate again. They're calling him hateful. He said it's a biological fact. Okay, hateful. But there's no hate in my heart at all. So that's you are being hateful when you tell somebody that identifies okay. as a man that they're not a man. That's that not hateful. hateful. That's a fact. Being educated on it doesn't affect your sexuality or your gender. It just affects your education. And not only that, I have had friends ten years ago that knew that I was accepting and came out to me and have told me today, ten years later, you were my safe place. And if it weren't for you, I probably would have lost my mind. So not only was it beneficial for me to know that my mother accepted me, it was beneficial for the LGBT is this a, is this a LGBTQ dude? people in my life to know that there are going to is be people that love them because they're kind, not trick. because of their gender. No, no, I think it's a dude. It's just an ugly chick, dude. That's virtue signaling. Yeah, okay, yeah, these are going to be the gazelles. You have to love that versatility. That's this is such an iconic pair of shoes. Shopping with Google makes it easy to find the right shoe for any occasion. I think you look really, really smooth right now, Drew. Watch cable-free live TV with no hidden fees or long-term contracts. Sign up. You know, I, I think there is a fear 
associated with this because I, I think that sometimes people are afraid to ask questions because if they get something wrong, somebody's going to jump up and say, transphobic, uh, because I, yep. I don't really We deal with it every day. You, you, you see that a lot. Racist, homophobic. Yeah, sorry, there's there's no black people in Russia. That's not racist. Yeah, small percentage. Yeah. uh, And yeah, a mean ass host. People, and it it makes it seem like it's a hostile environment. So people are afraid of it. Uh, I want to go get a chopped cheese after this. The best. And yeah, I don't think that's how most people feel. I don't get that energy from you. I, I'm so glad you brought this up, too, because the trans community does kind of have a reputation for jumping on people. And it's not all of us. Like you said, it's a small percentage of people. No, it's and your entire base, but okay. it's not very effective. It doesn't teach people compassion. It doesn't teach people... About yeah, you're people. not tolerant or compassionate, so don't even start with the little virtue BS. Yeah. I am kind of intimidated sometimes by... I read this article... Uh, 68 terms that describe gender identity and expression. Oh my God. Uh, I'll never get it right. I can't remember why I went in the kitchen this morning. Let <laughs> alone 68 different terms. Uh, look, I want to thank they're all, all made up, today. dude. Uh, a special thanks to uh, Esther. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, and uh, Dr. Fine, thank, thank, you. thank you for being here. Well, uh, that's you know, it, thank folks. Thank you for being here. For more information about today's episode... Folks, folks, we're ending it. You've been great. You've been weird. We'll catch you. Gonzo, you're a cunt. Yeah, you're a cunt. Dionysus, you're pretty cool. Yeah. All right. Peace out.